Hello, young artists. Welcome to another lesson of Art at Home with Mrs. Miller. Today, we're going to talk about alternative painting options. Because when we're creating at home, we might not have all the same tools that we use in the art room. And one of my favorite home painting materials is something I drink every morning. We're going to do coffee painting. Our art term for today is atmospheric perspective. Atmosphere is the air around us, and perspective is how we see things through our own eyes as artists. So atmospheric perspective is actually a painting technique that we use when we're trying to paint things that are really far away. When we paint things that are further away, we use lighter colors and lighter tones. When we paint things that are closer with less air in between or less atmosphere in between, we paint them with stronger, darker, and brighter colors. This technique helps us make our paintings that are on paper look a lot more realistic. And that's what we're going to practice today with our coffee paintings. So for your lesson today, you are going to need some type of black coffee, or you can use black tea. You'll also need a little glass if you're using coffee to pour into. I use some Earl Grey here. You'll need a painting utensil. This could be a brush. It could also be a paper towel or a small sponge. And then, of course, you'll need paper. Watercolor paper works best for this, but if you have any firm paper or a little bit thicker paper at home, that will work. Anything thicker than copy paper. Um, the two other items that you can use that are really helpful are a hair dryer, which speeds up the drying process, and some painter's tape, which will help when your paper wants to buckle and bend as it gets wet. So let's get started. So we're going to be painting a mountain scene and our first layer is going to be the mountain that is the furthest away from us, which means it's going to be the lightest. So I'm going to paint uh, this black coffee that I'm using all over my page, except for that nice crisp clean line that I made kind of towards the top. I'm leaving a little bit of white sky for me to play with later.
So now I'm going to show you a couple of paintbrush alternatives in case you don't have paintbrushes at home. I am going to first show you what uh, the coffee painting looks like with my regular watercolor brush. I'm just using some light brewed coffee that we made this morning. And then the next thing I'm going to show you is that you can get a very similar look with just a folded paper towel. If you fold your paper towel in half um, and then eventually pleat it up to get a nice thick point, you can dip that in your coffee and use that as the tip of a brush as well. One thing that helps with both the paper towel and the sponge, which I'll show you in just a minute, is um, they will soak up a lot of the coffee. So you might have to dab some coffee back into your painting, but it should be able to get that clean, crisp line. Even if you dab that back in, it'll only soak through that area that you've painted with the paper towel. For my second alternative, um, I just have a sponge, a kitchen sponge that I'm going to cut. And I did make a little bit of a kind of crescent moon cut on one side so that I could have a point. Uh, and that helps with making these really nice crisp edges. I'm loading up my sponge with coffee so that it's almost dripping. And I'm bringing it straight to the paper and moving that coffee around and making that nice crisp clean mountain ridge line. And then the nice thing about the sponge is that you can actually squeeze it out and drain the sponge and then come back and kind of sop up all that extra coffee that's on your page. For younger artists, painting with a sponge can be really fun and an easy way to clean up as well. So if they get a little too much coffee on their paper, they know how to clean it up with that sponge. They can quickly um, kind of sop up their mess. It also allows them to be a little bit closer to that line that they're drawing. So their fingers are just a little bit closer, which gives them a little bit more control. And all you have to do with them is do maybe five or six layers to get a really beautiful, small coffee painting. For more advanced students, you can play around with painting some trees or foliage in your foreground, so at the base of your painting. I actually decided in all of my paintings to use an instant coffee with just a little bit of water. It got the most dark tone possible. Um, I tried a couple different ways to make this coffee, but that instant coffee worked really well. So I'm using this instant coffee to create my tree trunks, and then I'm gonna go back in and create branches once they've dried a little bit. And that's it. You've created a painting using atmospheric perspective. Have fun exploring and layering with your new mediums, coffee and tea.